The discrimination is not allowed in our treaties. It is uh, denied by the Equal Pay Directive. Somehow, after tens of years of existence in the EU, we still lack both in the equal pay for equal work and not to talk about equal value, the 30% on salaries on women. This is not acceptable. What you do not know, you cannot uh, act upon. And this is the reason why this uh, pay transparency directive is so important. It gives the possibilities for employers and employees to have the full picture of what is the legal funds and basis for their salary based on the competence, on the demandness of the work and other special qualifications, not the gender. And this gives the first possibility to really see where we stand and to take the positive actions. It's important that it is criminal to discriminate in concrete by gender. I find it extremely important that by this directive we are going to have the harmonized criteria, indicators and application systems developed by EGE together with the Commission. This ensures the comparability between different industries, member states, public and private sectors. So we actually know where we stand. It is important uh, that the Commission, as Parliament asks, reviews the directive within due time, so to how to see, to expand its coverage, because now it is covering less than 1% of the enterprises and 50% of the workers, so that it covers all the workers and all the employers and maybe active equality programming and eradi eradication of these uh, problems could be included in this review. Thank you.